Good morning, girls and boys, my ready to learn family. I miss you. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about an uncomfortable feeling called loneliness. Um, but first, let's do our thumb check in, okay? So, my thumb today is to the side. It's a Monday. It's a little gloomy out today, and I'm just feeling a little low energy. Uh, gloomy because it's raining, the sky is gray. I'm missing the bright, bright sunshine that we had a few days ago, and I'm feeling a bit lonely. Where's your thumb at today? How are you feeling? Well, let's see where our thumbs are at when we're done with this little check-in, okay? All right. So today we're going to talk a bit about feeling lonely. We're lonely when, oh, and Truman Puppy is worried that I'm feeling sad. Look at this. Oh my goodness. He doesn't want me to feel lonely. He wants me to have company. But sometimes even when we have someone with us that we love and who loves us, we still can feel lonely. We can miss our friends and we can miss our routines. I miss coming to school. I miss seeing Miss Dow and Miss Lowry and Miss Romano. I miss seeing you. I miss Miss Beck. I miss Miss Sparkle, Mr. Z, Miss G, Miss Emmy, and of course, Miss Lieb. I miss them all so much. And I miss you guys too. And so even though I have Truman Puppy, who clearly still loves me, and I have Ellie, I'm a bit lonely. Lonely just means I'm having a hard time feeling like I miss you guys and I don't like being alone and I feel kind of like I have to face things on my own. That could be an uncomfortable feeling. Um, because most of us want to be with other people who love us to help us feel safe and to help us feel connected to other people. So we're going to talk a little bit about when we're feeling lonely and it's in that sad, lonely, isolated, kind of on our own feeling. So there are a few tricks that I've learned when I feel that way. First of all, I've noticed that I feel lonely and I've named it. I'm not saying that I'm angry, I'm not saying that I'm disappointed, I'm not saying that I'm frustrated or any of those other uncomfortable feelings. I've named that I actually feel lonely. I miss the people that I love, okay? I miss connecting with people. I noticed it because it does seem like sadness and you might feel it as a little bit of sadness too. I feel a little quieter. I find my eyes are crying a little bit when I think about my old friends and our old life together. Um, I also might notice kind of a heavier feeling in my body. See if you can tune in. If you're thinking about missing people, you might feel it in your chest right here, right under your neck. You might feel it in your shoulders, okay? And, and that's okay. That's a normal feeling to have when you feel lonely. So when I'm feeling lonely, I try to connect with people. Have you been getting letters in the mail from me and the dogs? That's something I do when I feel lonely. I write to people that I miss. Sometimes I call them too. And that way I can talk to them. We have this cool thing called a video chat or a Google Hangout and you can see the person while you're talking to them. You might have seen this in FaceTime, right? Where you can talk on the phone and see them. That helps me a lot. I've been lonely for my daughter. She lives in Colorado right now. She's also getting a brand new puppy, a golden retriever. She's gonna name him Buck. But I can't see him and I'm lonely for him. I'm lonely for her. So I'm writing to her. I'm drawing her pictures and I'm mailing them. I also talk on the phone with her. What if you're lonely and you miss someone and you can't see them anymore? There's some other tricks that can make you feel better too. One thing I do is read when I'm feeling lonely and that distracts my brain from what I'm feeling lonely about. Sometimes I find someone else to play a game with. So I miss Madeline, my daughter, a lot. 
but I'll play a game with Truman and Ellie, and that helps me. Or I'll talk to Madeline's brothers, and that helps me too. So, you know, we play games here. I know we used to play games at Ready to Learn. Are you playing games at home with your people? Maybe you're playing checkers or coloring with people. That's all fun ways to pass the time and can help if you're feeling lonely for us. All right, the last thing I want to talk to you about when you're feeling lonely that works for me is a little bit of yoga. You know I want you to move your bodies because we talked about when we get to feeling sad, it might be here in our chest, right here on our collarbones. It might be in our shoulders. For me, I get my hands even feel kind of heavy. So what I want you to do is a little bit of yoga breathing, okay? And we'll do that at the end of the session. One other thing, you know I've been reading to you from my favorite book, the Mr. Rogers book, the poetry book. I found a book, a, a, a poem in the book called, It's an Ugly Day. Look what's happening in the picture. Do you see what's happening outside in the picture? It looks like rain, doesn't it? We've had a lot of rain. I'm going to read you the poem about the day that they had a lot of rain in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. It's an ugly day, is what the poem is called. It's an ugly day made of muggly gray. It's a sit down by the fire and be snuggly day. It's a cloudy day and a dowdy day. It's a place some Chinese checkers read out loud day. It's a day to cuddle up with a chocolate chip cookie. Hook a rug or knit, cause it's an ugly day made of muggly gray. It's a better wear your sweater and be snuggly day. If we pop us some corn and have cinnamon toast, I'd say we made the most of an ugly day. So, you know, the, they're having cookies and popcorn. Sometimes I'll eat treats on an ugly day. I like my coffee. You guys remember that, right? I actually have my coffee today. Before I go out to work at Martin Luther King School, I'm going to drink a nice hot cup of coffee. And then I'll be at King School helping to give out the food. Okay? Because I'm going to be outside. It's going to be cold and gray. And, ugh, right? Who wants that? All right, boys and girls, girls and boys, I miss you. And I'm lonely for you. But I'm not going to sit with that and let myself become too sad because that won't make any of it better anyway. And you know I wouldn't want that for you either. So take a deep breath in and roll your shoulders up toward your ears. And blow the air out, bringing your shoulders down. Inhale up again, shoulders up toward your ears. And when you blow the air out, try to put your shoulder blades in your back pockets. You're just opening up your chest so much. Do you feel that difference? And inhale your arms all the way up. Look up to the sky and wiggle your fingers and exhale your hands down and look to, straight toward me. And inhale up again all the way up. Wiggle your fingers up to the sky. Lace your fingers together and push them out in front of you, pushing the sadness away and let it go. All righty, boys and girls, girls and boys. We're going to be doing some yoga later this week on the videos on Seesaw, so make sure you stay tuned. Write letters to people you miss, draw them pictures, make phone calls, and if you need to, do some things with the people who are with you and enjoy them, knowing that the people you miss and you're lonely for would not want you being sad in missing us. All right. Hands to heart center. Bring your chin down to your hands. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Love you. Safe. Be respectful. Try your best at the seesaw stuff. Do your best to be helpers to your moms and dads and grandmas and brothers and dogs and cats. We'll be back together soon. I love you. Bye-bye.